Top 5 Vitamins to Unclog Your Clogged Arteries What happens when you have clogged arteries? What are some of the early signs and symptoms of clogged arteries? To answer all those questions, we have to talk about atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis is a condition in which there is a buildup of fats, cholesterol, and other substances in and on the artery wall, which is called plaque. This results in the narrowing and hardening of the wall, which leads to blockage of the arteries and irregular blood flow. If preventive measures are not carried out, then it will progress to heart attacks, strokes, and blood clot formation. If we talk about it in detail, then you'll understand it much better. Let's start from the very basics. The heart, your lovely heart. Your heart is a vital organ in your body that pumps oxygen-rich blood to your whole body through the channels of arteries. So, the channels must remain open, otherwise, the blockage will create a mess. Firstly, it is important to understand that the deposition of plaque damages the inner layer of your arteries and starts inflammation. Further, small cracks or lesions start to appear because of stress, poor diet, smoking, and other causes, which we'll talk about later. Now, to prevent your arteries from leaking, LDL cholesterol starts sticking around these cracks to patch up these pockets of damage, like cement applied to the cracks of a wall, for example. It must be noted that cholesterol is not the enemy here. It's actually trying to heal and repair the damaged tissues. But unfortunately, if you don't adopt a healthy lifestyle, your arteries continue to get damaged, causing a buildup of plaque, which is a mixture of scar tissue called fibrin, hardened calcium, cholesterol, and other waste. These substances gel together and form a thick, rigid cement in your arteries that hardens like bone, clogging up your arteries and blocking the normal flow of blood. And if the main coronary artery is blocked completely, one may suffer from a heart attack, leading to death. At first, you may feel pain or pressure in your chest, especially when you are under emotional stress or working out, and the pain goes away when you relax. Another sign of clogged arteries is referred pain, or swelling in the left side of your body, such as your left shoulder or your arm, because your arteries aren't getting enough oxygen. You may have trouble breathing sometimes, especially when you walk. In some people, there are no symptoms at all and plaque can continue to form and deposit in the arterial walls for decades without being noticed until a blockage occurs. It is important to treat the plaque on time because if left untreated, plaque in the arteries can get thicker and form a hardened cement-like layer, which greatly increases your chances of having a heart attack, stroke, blood clot, or death, no matter how old you are. In today's video, you'll be provided with information about five vitamins that can be used to help unclog your arteries and improve blood flow around your body. Some simple lifestyle modifications will also be shared with you so that you can fix the root cause of clogged artery. Here we use the word vitamins broadly which includes minerals, herbs, and nutritional supplements that you can use to unclog your arteries. Reminder, please note that this video is made for educational purposes only. Consult your doctor if you have any medical concerns. The first vitamin on our list is vitamin C. Many of you want to live a healthy life with strong immunity. Well, vitamin C is an important factor in boosting our immunity. It should be included regularly in our diet. Vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant that lowers the risk of heart disease. It also has many benefits, such as aiding in wound healing and glowing your skin, but here we will stick to its cardiovascular function only. Vitamin C helps to strengthen the collagen in your arteries, making them flexible, and as a result, your blood flow remains stable. It also aids in reducing inflammation owing to its antioxidant effects. The sources of vitamin C are fruits and vegetables. Citrus fruits like orange, lemon, strawberry, and pineapple, and vegetables like cabbage, sauerkraut, bell pepper, broccoli, etc. Try to avoid over-the-counter ascorbic acid supplements because these only contain 5% of the original vitamin C complex. Instead, you can use whole fruit powders such as acerola cherries, rose hips, or kamu kamu if you want to add more vitamin C intake. The recommended daily amount for vitamin C is 90 mg a day for men and 75 mg for women. The second vitamin we're going to discuss here is vitamin K2. Vitamin K2 is one of the essential nutrients for preventing plaque deposits in your arteries. With the advancement of age or people who eat foods with high LDL, there is an increased risk of fat and calcium deposits. As a result, the arteries become stiff, hard, and rigid. That's why vitamin K2 is here for you to unclog your arteries so that you can live a happy, long life. It activates a protein, MGP, that prevents calcium buildup in your blood vessels and directs it into the bones, the place where calcium belongs and does its work, making your bones strong and preventing bone fractures. You can start eating vitamin K2-rich foods, which include sauerkraut, beef liver, natto, and European cheeses like Swiss emmental cheese, camembert, parmigiana, and munster. 
The daily recommended dose of vitamin K2 is 200 mcg. If you're finding this information helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on all the notifications for quick access to our latest health and nutrition tips. Next, we have krill oil. Krill oil contains inflammation-fighting omega-3 fatty acids and an antioxidant called astaxanthin. It is interesting to know that astaxanthin is one of the most powerful antioxidants known to man. With 6,000 times the power of vitamin C, studies have reported that krill oil is effective at improving blood cholesterol, fat levels, and other risk factors for heart disease. The daily recommended dose of krill oil is 1,000 to 4,000 mg in the form of gel capsules. The fourth vitamin is vitamin E, or tocotrienols. Tocotrienols are a component of the vitamin E complex and are 50 times more potent than regular tocopherols. They reduce inflammation in the body and break down fibrous scar tissue, which is what makes your arteries thicker and narrower. The natural food sources of vitamin E are sunflower seeds, almonds, hazelnuts, avocados, olive oil, Swiss chard, spinach, and other leafy green vegetables. A deficiency of vitamin E can raise your blood pressure, putting stress on the arterial walls and making them more likely to become damaged and clogged up with plaque. So, if you're looking to heal or unclog your arteries, make sure to take up to 300 mg of vitamin E per day. The final ingredient that we are going to talk about today is aged garlic extract. Nature is very kind to us. It provides us with ways to treat a disease with natural things as well. And so here is aged garlic extract, which contains a powerful natural sulfur called allicin. Aged garlic extract has been shown in studies to reduce the amount of calcium deposits in the arteries. By eating raw garlic every day, you can keep your blood pressure steady, lower high blood sugar, and keep your arteries from getting hard. If you don't like the taste, you can take up to 2,400 mg of aged garlic extract daily. After knowing about the top 5 vitamins, let us tell you the causes that clog your arteries. The first cause is refined foods. Eating a greater amount of refined foods like sugar, processed grains, and flour, which trigger inflammation, eventually causes a buildup of plaque. The second cause is stress. Sustained high levels of emotional stress cause the release of a hormone called cortisol that narrows your arteries, raising your blood pressure. Next is vegetable oils. Eating too many omega-6 vegetable oils can also cause inflammation in your arteries, like corn oil, cottonseed, canola, rapeseed, margarine, and processed olive oil. Then there is calcium carbonate. Supplements made of elemental calcium carbonate aren't well absorbed by the body. Instead, they stay in the bloodstream and build up as calcium plaque in the arteries. Another cause is alcohol. Drinking alcohol damages the liver and also raises a hormone called estrogen, which can weaken the artery walls and make them susceptible to plaque. Lastly is smoking and the like. Smoking, vaping, and pollutants that we breathe in can also deplete vitamin C and make the arteries hard. In the end, let's explore six action steps you can take to unclog your arteries and improve your blood flow. 1. Eat high-quality, protein-rich foods like wild salmon, sardines, organic pork, grass-fed beef, and European raw cheeses. To reduce inflammation in your arteries, eat fruits and vegetables that are high in antioxidants, like sunflower seeds, walnuts, tomatoes, bell peppers, spinach, avocados, garlic, and all the leafy green vegetables. 2. Reduce your intake of processed foods in your diet, like sugar, bread, cereals, soda drinks, biscuits, pastries, sweets, and pasta. 3. You can start taking 200 micrograms of vitamin K2 and 500 micrograms of vitamin D3, which will make your bones strong. 4. Start taking long solitary walks outside in nature for at least one hour a day, especially morning walks, with plenty of fresh air. Do your walks in the garden or around nature because plants release essential oils into the air, which lower your blood pressure, reduce stress, and minimize the risk of heart attack and other heart disease. 5. Start cutting all inflammatory omega-6 vegetable oils like margarine, soy, canola, cottonseed, or corn oil and cooking your food with EVOO or avocado oil instead. Eat heart-healthy omega-3 fats from virgin cod liver oil, wild cod oily fish, walnuts, and shellfish to reverse the inflammation and heal the inner walls of the arteries. 6. You might want to eat 2-3 to three tablespoons of nutritional yeast every day to get B vitamins, especially niacin, which opens up your blood vessels. After watching the whole video, you might be worried about the health of your arteries, and right now you must be wondering if your arteries are fine and free of plaque or not. So, to check the health of your arteries, you can speak to your doctor and request a coronary artery calcium scan, otherwise known as a CAC test. Thank you so much for watching our video today. Please take a moment to subscribe to our channel for more informative health-related videos.